where white ended up with an advantage. But that's not necessarily um, to say um, that black's moves were terrible. I think f5 here is a bit dodgy in, in their game. Um, so in, in this position, I don't know, it, it looks as though black's got a problem, problematic e6 pawn. So we ventured off there um, in that Dutch variation, but I, I, I wanted to know out of interest what, what the theory is afterwards. Okay, let's go back now and venture into other systems. So after d5, c4, e6, we also have pawn to knight 3, which is going to transpose into a Catalan soon. So Catalan closed here for example. So it's a mixture of Queen's Gambit and Reti openings. Yes, it's a hybrid, you know, putting influence on the center with the bishop, but uh, almost like playing it like Queen's Gambit. So we've seen a lot of um, pawn sacrifices by Anand recently in the Catalan. What I'd really like to do though is look at the Indian systems in particular. So um, let's venture into the Indian systems, um, the Indian defense systems. Let me bore you, or if you don't know these names you might find this fascinating, I hope you do. I'm doing a sort of revision as well this, this video. So let's see, Queen's Indian defense, so c4, e6, and then white is avoiding the Nimzo engine with knight f3, so we have b6 as the notes here say, the Queen's Indian defence. Quiet aims at a quality via active peace play. We also have d5 transposition into the Queen's game at decline. c5 as in Benoni. So these are the two, the three things that black might do. Queen's Indian, Benoni territory coming up here after d5. This, this will go into Benoni soon. It's going to say Benoni, I hope. Benoni, yes, we've hit Benoni. Okay, so c5 is, is, is aiming to transpose into Benoni. So the key thing to remember here, Queen's engine is b6, d5 is going back into the Queen's game at declined. But uh, b6, Queen's engine defense. Okay. Now let's have a look what the Bogo engine defense is as a reminder. So d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, and now the Bogo engine is bishop b4 check. So without white committing to knight c3. Now white has a few choices here. He doesn't have to play knight c3, that will just transpose into an Imza engine line, the three knights variation. He could also just keep it Bogo-ish, bishop d2 for example, or queen knight to queen 2. I'm not sure which move is better. I think it might just be um, personal preference. I don't know what statistically is is, is great here. Okay, so um, let's look at another name. So d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3. Let's go into the Nimzo engine to start off with and explore this. What names can we pluck out here? So classical variation, queen c2 is the classical variation. So classical as in almost like you can consider the classical to be the main line. I think Sparth like this move a lot, queen c2. Okay, queen c2, there's, there's a lot of interesting moves for black, but we want to look at names in particular for this broad, very quick survey of d4 systems. So the Rubenstein variation, let's have a look at that now. So after knight c3, bishop b4, e3, this is the um, the Rubenstein variation, very strong player, Kiba Rubenstein. Stein. Um, so basically, uh, a very sensible move, opening up the bishop, not minding the double pawns. Um, I don't want to go into too, too much depth, but to distinguish between the Rubenstein and the Neo Rubenstein. Let's have a look at what the Neo Rubenstein is. So knight c3, um, nope, um, I'm making a mess of that, sorry, bishop b4, e3 castles. So the bishop moves naturally, d5, 
and now C5. So this is Nimitz transposed into E3 main line with C5. Castles, Knight F3, Knight C6 rather. Now White is chasing that bishop. Black takes. Bishop to A5. And now here, Bishop D3 is a move, or Queen D3. Okay, so this is like Neo Rubenstein. So um, it'll be interesting to know why it's called Neo Rubenstein. If you know, please let me know. <laughs> anyway, let's swiftly move on. Um, the Simish variation of the King's Engine. Let's have a look at the Simish. So d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4. Simish was a player which often consumed vast amounts of time and losing virtually all his games in one tournament on time. So he's kicking the bishop immediately in the Simish. Uh, maybe that a3 is actually useful. Maybe a rook can sometimes switch the a2. I've seen that in some, some master games. Um, kind of nifty stuff. But grabbing black's dark squared bishop and now playing this f3 as though you know going to get that center as well. So this might be a variation. So takes a knight d5. So this is Simish variation example. But it really kicks off with that move a3 if we rewind. Um, so we're in the Simish variation here. Now let's look at the Grunfeld defense. So I'm hoping you know this from previous videos. After c4, black has the option of going into the king's engine or, or the Grunfeld here after knight c3. Ignore what it said about king's engine. Um, but here, d5 steers it to the Grunfeld. Um, I'm not sure if it's it's safe to say this is um, well the king's engine it's indicating here is immediately you know that move g6 but knight c3 d5 will be a Grunfeld rather than the king's engine okay so hypermodern strategy here so um, king's engine I've I've said but um, just to say it again I I think the king's engine really starts you know when black plays bishop g7 so when king's engine territory here for sure. Um, now what's the Smyslov, the, rather the Sinislav, I thought it said Smyslov in this combo, the Sinislav variation of the Grunfeld. What is that when it's at home? So c4, g6, knight c3, d5, okay, knight f3, bishop g7, Queen to b3, so provoking uh, black to resolve that tension in the center. So this is the Russian variation here. Takes, takes, castles, e4, bishop g4. This looks like thematic for d4 pressure. But now white's not minding if black doubles the pawns. But, but now in fact, queen knight to queen, king knight to queen 2. Is apparently a good move here. Right, so this is the uh, Sinislav variation. So if bishop e2, I haven't really documented this here, so it's not really aware of this variation. Okay. Um, right, another name. Craving another name in the room for that skip. Grunfeld, and let's look at what the Neo Grunfeld is. So, after c4, g6, if white plays here, g3, so we have both sides fin chattering. Pardon me, let's go back. d4, knight f6, c4, g6. Pawn to king knight three here, so almost like king's engine fin variation coming up. But now black plays d5, so either this is considered a neo Grunfeld or it's called the g3 
part of the King's engine, the counter thrust variation. So Black hasn't wasted time with a D6 move. It's done D5 in one go. Okay. Waterkorn agrees with Wiki that actually the King's engine is immediately when we play G6. This is King's engine defense territory. And there's lots of names here within the King's engine. Um, the classical variation. So knight c3, bishop g7, um, I'm wondering if this is starting to torture you. Get a cup of coffee if you're getting bored, come back, stop the video. Um, I'll, and I'll just be stumbling even more when you come back, but or you can just carry on the torture. So castles, 